packet at the back it's written in Korean so in a get in a get out you can hey guys and welcome back to the channel um, as you can see from the title down below actually before we even start have you subscribed yet to the channel have you and if not why not okay we'll just wait just click click it click the notification bell do all those things that are wonderful that make you see when i release a video so that you can see so that you can comment so that you can do all these wonderful things okay have you done that have you done that okay good as you can see from the title down below this is going to be another one of my really really loved really loved uh collective beauty reviews so this time around i've got a couple of products that i've just yeah, I feel like I need to speak about and we're here. I'm going to speak about them today, right now. Right now, we're going to just get into it. Um, and I'm going to show you some of my um, favorites. Not so favorites, but favorites and yeah, some products that I've really been liking recently. So if you want to see which ones I'm talking about, then please do keep watching. So essentially there's two skin products and the rest are makeup products because I am a makeup hoarder and I've got a serious problem but to me it's not a problem so we're not even going to get into it. So let's just do the skincare products first. Um, I have recently been so so into K-beauty like all the YouTubers that I watch at some point have spoken about Korean beauty and I've read up on the products, I've read up on the brands, I've read up, not on all of them, obviously, who's got the time, but I've read up on really, really, really nice, well-known brands and some of their well-loved products, and I decided to cop a couple myself. Um, if you haven't already seen the whole video, I suggest you watch that one first, and then you'll see the products that I'm talking about, because I've had these ones for relatively about a month now, and I feel like I can talk about them. Yes. So the first one will come as no surprise if you have watched my uh, vlog and you've also watched the haul. This is the Laneige Special Care Water Sleeping Mask. Okay. This is not a miraculous product, but it is a good product. Um, the reason why I picked this one up because Laneige was always one of those brands that kept on popping up. Every time I was on Muse Beauty, I would see it. Every time I was on Samika Beauty, I would see it. Every time I would watch uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, I would see someone speaking about Laneige. And one of the stand -up pro standout products that they spoke about was this one. And this is the water sleeping mask. Okay, guys, so this is a product that you would typically apply onto your skin um, in the evening. I, I use it in the evening because I use it just before I go to bed. Uh, what I would do is I would cleanse my skin with whatever it is that I'm cleansing and washing my skin with, tone my skin. After that, I would apply this. Nothing else, no moisturizer, nothing. This works as a moisturizer. And if you open the cap, it is blue. Um, I love the fact that it comes with a little sort of like plastic spoon so you can scoop it out rather than um, dipping your finger in there, which is really, really good in terms of hygiene. But you know what heaven smells like? Yeah, we don't know what it smells like, but this is what I'm supposing heaven would smell like. It's fresh, it smells amazing, it's very subtle, but it's such a nice, fresh, rejuvenating rehydrating scent you know and I love this one because it is it's sort of like a gel formula and I normally just take a little bit of it apply 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 and then rub it into my skin my skin drinks this up it's crazy it, it literally just I don't use it every day I use it when I feel like I've got sort of like dry patches here and there and I feel like my skin needs a little bit of moisture a little bit of hydration and then I will use it that evening but for the most part I've really really enjoyed it I don't think it is a wow amazing oh my god kind of product but I think it's reliable and it does the job and for a um I would I would classify it as high end but it is very 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 reasonable I got this for I don't want to lie 
I think maybe the 400 Rand mark or 300, 400 Rand. I don't remember. And this is the full size. It also comes with travel sizes as well. So you can pick those up if you want to test it out. But it's really, really great. I think if you've got um, a dry skin, this would work really, really well. And I've also read some reviews of people who've had oily skin but use this as well. And it's, it's sort of like cleared up their oily skin and made it so much better. But for me, I love using it at night time. I think it just does the job. It hydrates, it sinks very, very quickly into the skin. It's just like one, two, and then it's gone. It's gone. It's just the skin, the pores, they just open up and they suck it all in and they suck in all that moisture. And it is amazing. It's, it's, it's really, really nice. And especially just, just looking at this sitting in your skincare drawer there, in the, it just looks so nice and it matches with my bathroom so well. So I am actually really glad that I caught this. So if you're somebody who's really into skincare and you want to try out something really, really nice, definitely try it this out i love it it's available on news beauty so good so good and then the next one which i bought off of uh best beauty buyers is the p rim um moisturizer and this is the relief moisturizing cream it's called safe me i love to use this one in the morning so I use my La Roche-Posay products at night because I feel like the nighttime ones are the most effective ones. The eye cream and the moisturizer, I really, really love those, so I can't stop using those. I use those ones on a daily basis, apart from the nights where I'm using the water sleeping mask. But in the mornings, I definitely reach for this. This also comes with a spoon. They, that, that's what it looks like. Um, I pretty much just put it on top like that, and then I put it in my skincare drawer. Um, it is a white moisturizer that's pretty much what it looks like i haven't even dented this but i use it pretty much every single day i'm so so glad that it's got it's it's in such a big tub let me see it's 80 milliliter this one is 80 it's such a great product i absolutely love it it's light it goes onto the skin really really easily fast um also a moisturizer not not a gel much like the other one it's just a very light moisturizer which for me is what i prefer in the hotter months as compared to a rich uh, moisturizer but i'm a big big fan of this one i feel like this one just does the job it's a nice product um it's sort of like a nice to have i bought it from best beauty buys for just under 400 rand but i just wanted to try um um PRM. I wanted to try make PRM. That's what they call it. Make PRM. And it only has 12 ingredients, most of which are natural ingredients. So I really, really like it. At the back it's written in Korean. So in a get Anybody get time? You can research it and check it out. I went onto the website. I really, really like the fact that most of the ingredients on here are natural, organic products. So I loved that and I definitely wanted to try it out. Um, it just does the job and it's a really nice moisturizer. No particular scent. No, no particular scent to it that's just overpowering or something that you wouldn't want to use. It's just a really great product. So therefore just an honorable mention, you know? you know? And then the rest are all makeup products and we're going to start with this. I spoke about this in a vlog and I'm gonna mention it again. This is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. It's a lot, it's a lot to say, but it is what it is. This is one of my favorite foundations. I use this foundation every day. I've got two backups of it. I've always wanted to find a matte foundation from the lower end brands that i could use every single day i feel like i buy my double wear foundation so much because i haven't found anything that works just quite like it it's still better than this one but this one is a very close second in terms of matte foundations that i absolutely love i've got this foundation on today it matches me perfectly uh, i use the shade my shade is caramel which is also caramel in fit me uh, foundation as well so I pretty much take the same shade but I really really love this it's matte it literally stays on the whole day if you want to see 
the proof of that it's in my uh, vlog my moyo vlog i talk about it and i talk about it uh later on in the day and it still actually looks quite good so i really really love this foundation i think it is a gem something really really great on the pocket it's cost effective it lasts pretty much the whole day on your face without you having to touch up the only thing i would do is just powder up throughout the day especially if i know i'm going somewhere or if it's hot outside but for the most part i do not need to even touch my face when i've got this on i love it I absolutely suggest this is a definite 4.8 out of 5. I just can't give it a 5, but it's a 4.8 out of 5. Definitely worth it. If you're somebody who doesn't like this product, please tell me why because I would really love to know. But I love it. Love it. And then next is a powder that I've been waiting to talk about. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. This is a lightweight mattifying powder for some reason i know we're in the hotter months but i am still very much into matte skin i don't know why i'll probably change at some point but i am so into matte skin except with a little bit of highlight here and there but i'm so into matte skin this my shade is caramel it is a very light weight powder i literally just dip in and go like this and listen with the maybelline uh, uh, foundation underneath and then just to top it up with this ah uh, listen I look like flawless it's very rare for my skin to look flawless okay I've got good skin I, I, I can appreciate that and I'm thankful for it but it's very rare for my skin to look flawless but the combination of these two is disgusting is sick honey is sick honey this thing that they work so so well together and i happen to be caramel in both which is really really weird but it doesn't wash me out it doesn't um look different on camera when i take pictures it just looks absolutely perfect it looks flawless makes my skin look so so good i use it every single day i am so happy that i found a powder aside from my mac mineralized skin finish which i use all the time but this one is mattifying which is really really nice it just leaves a smooth matte canvas on your face and then you can follow up with your bronzes and contours and whatever but this does a really good job if you have got a shade in this i definitely suggest you give it a shot you will love it you will love it I ain't, I ain't lying now i spoke about these in my whole video so i'm not going to get too much into it i got the lipstick spanked if you want to see it in action definitely check out the whole video it's a great matte lipstick that is not drying really really appreciate that about this lipstick it's so so nice it's not drying at all at all at all it just makes your lips look so nice but the lipstick is matte so i really really enjoyed this i think it's well worth the price got it off of news beauty the packaging the packaging for all of them sick insane and for me these are the first three products that i have from fenty that i absolutely absolutely love uh the gloss balm i've got on my lips today i decided that i don't want to put on but i'm still wondering if i look like rihanna when i apply this on but doesn't matter i decided it, you just glow like even your lips just look edible it's amazing it smells like candy it smells like sweets it's absolutely delicious you could eat it but it's nice because it's got flecks of gold in there as well so when you look in towards the sun oh <laughs> definitely this one has an aha oh my god kind of moment i absolutely love it and then the highlight that i want to do is the uh the highlighter hustler baby this is the kilowatt highlighter in mean money and hustler baby it's gonna wash out because it's very it's more on the champagne side that's what i've got on my cheeks today and i've got a little bit on my nose and 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 beautiful amazing very very soft so so soft and it doesn't apply on patchy as well it's such a great highlighter i'm such a big fan and the packaging is so nice it's got like a holographic thing about it it's white but you can see that it's got at different angles it sort of shines purple and blue and sort of holographic really really nice i love the whole shape of them the packaging is dope bruv the packaging is just dope and yeah i just wanted to mention that this is a really really great one as well purchased all the fenty beauty from uh muse beauty got them from there for somewhere between the 500 and the 700 800 rand mark i think this one is 800 rand but they are so well worth it they're well worth it 
I haven't been liking highlighter much, but since I picked up this one, you girl, I want to highlight every day. Every day. Okay, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go like I feel like I've been talking. I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys a little bit later. I hope you enjoyed this little beauty review. I'll see you next month in the next beauty review. But to make sure that you see it, you have to subscribe. So I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao, bye, bye. Do subscribe. Ciao, ciao, bye, bye. Do subscribe.